I love it. So AJ, one of the things that I wanted to get into with you is that, you know, the, as we go into better markets, when markets are healthy, so people read this article, home prices jump, everybody gets really positive, thinks about putting their home on the market and they've got to decide which agent they're going to hire to list that home for sale. And when they look around, there's such a wide array of agents that are out there. There's companies like um, I pay one. I don't know if they're still around. Not they even they around disappeared anymore. and then yeah. they came back and I think they've disappeared again. But there's these companies that pop up when the market gets a little bit frothy and they come in, you know, like a Redfin, for right. example, discount Redfin's brokers, still right. around. So there's these discount companies that'll come in and say, you know what, we'll list your home for, you know, 1% or 2%. As opposed to, you know, plus they got to pay a buyer's agent. Traditional has usually been around 6%. It's always negotiable. Um, but there's these companies that come in and we'll do it for a big discount. And then, you know, there's the companies that have been around for a long time, not these ones that, you know, come in and out of the market when it's good and bad, that charge more traditional around a 6% rate. So, AJ, what's the difference? What does somebody get when they go with one of these discount brokerages versus going with somebody like you and, and the Powers Premier team? I think it just comes down to quality. Um, really, if you're paying someone 1%, let's just say it's a $400,000 listing, you're going to pay them a gross of $4,000. A lot of people may not know that you, it's really easy to spend that on marketing alone, pictures, video, what you do online, Zillow, Realtor, Truly. I mean, these things take up almost that whole amount of commission. So do you think someone's going to spend that full 4,000 to market your home? Or do you think they're going to try and keep as much in their pocket as they can and try and do this on a volume scale where... I've got to do a hundred deals a year to make the same as someone that's doing 30. And as soon as you increase that volume that they need, the quality goes down because they have to work with so many people. They have to cut costs everywhere they can. And really you're just not going to get someone who is doing everything they can to market your home. They're going to do the bare minimum and that's not going to bring you more money. Yeah. It might save you money in your mind, but the only thing you should care about is how much money we're making at the end of the day, which is really why paying a professional that does this at the top tier of quality and doesn't cut costs and does everything they can to showcase your home, it's going to make you a lot more money. It's not going to save you money in the long run. AJ, I'm sure you've seen this happen. Kyle's talking